Is it weird working together? You still have like massive sibling fights. Who does mum love more? Who do you think she does love more? Charlie. Right. Yeah. You agree with that? I was, was more well behaved. Yeah, right. but I'm more talented, so. Potentially. I'd rather be loved more by my mum than talented. Wow, your priorities are so... <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. If I was really talented, I wouldn't give a shit about my mum's love. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Does she show favouritism, your mum? I think so, yeah. Doesn't she? I think yeah, so. Yeah, but I, I'm in the right, cos it's like... Cos she was a bit of a wild child growing up, so yeah. I had to... I always, I, she couldn't have two wild children, so I, was, I had to, there was so much pressure on me to be normal. So do, do you think that you... Yeah, but you just didn't have personality, I think. He actually had no personality right. going up. Um, so did you deliberately try and be more straight-laced than nice because your sister was such a prick? Yeah, I think, <sighs> yeah, massively. Like, I just feel sorry for my parents. Yeah. Like, but they had her as a daughter. How? Yeah. In what way did you feel sorry? Do you feel sorry for mum and dad because of me? Because they have to... Well, there's so much shit we had to deal with. Is it true, uh, Daisy, that you were going to be a stripper? Well, it wasn't that I was going to be. I auditioned for a strip club when right. I was about 18. What set of circumstances led you to decide that you wanted to do that? And I didn't have any way to pay the rent, so... I looked at uh, the stage magazine and there was a thing that it said uh, £500 plus a week, exotic dancing. So I thought that was... Fruit so on your Like head. fruit on your head, that's exactly what yeah. I thought it would be. And it said, come to this certain place and wear an evening dress. So I went round all the charity <laughs> shops and found a ball gown, right. like a proper purple ball gown. And turned up at this place called Sophisticats or something like okay. that. So the clue, the, in, so <laughs> did, the, did the name ring any alarm bells? No, no. not at all. No. Went in and there was about 30 girls in there who were working there. And they said, right, what song do you want to play? And I said, I don't fucking know. At this point, did you know it was, did you know you're going to be stripped? Now I knew that and I was, there was no way out of it now. Right. And all that could come to my head was ghetto romance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Are you serious? I'm absolutely serious. And so she went Get on. Get a romance. Is that damage? Da damage. Damage. Yeah. Wow. And. <laughs> in a fucking ball gown. <laughs> it's like you went, how do I make this sadder? <laughs> and I didn't know what to were there, do. Were there other auditionees? Or was it there just... was one other girl. And what was she wearing? She was wearing. She was a proper stripper. So she got on, she did her thing on the pole. And what it was, was her. Do you remember uh, her name? Stripper name. No, I, can't. I think it was Did Jessica. It was Jessica, that was what it was. She went up on the stage before me. Yeah. They said, What's your. What, they said to me, What's your stage name? And all I could think was, It was Louise Redknapp. <laughs> As it. it... Louise Redknapp. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever tell anyone this. Oh. Jesus Christ. I didn't know about this. Are you until... just really into British R and B? <laughs> anyway, go on. Sorry, so, so Louise steps up. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, the girl before me went up. She was a proper pole dancer, so she could go up the pole, down the pole. And then it got to my turn. And I didn't know what to do. So I just clung, like clung onto the pole. Yeah. Started to pretend to snog the pole. Oh my god! And then I took the top of my of my dress down and just showed my tits and <laughs> snogged the pole. Oh. And <laughs> this is so hard for me how to long? tell you this. You know how hard this is. You tongue kissed. Oh my god! Possibly totally. the dirtiest pole that yeah. you could Absolutely. possibly. That's, that's worse than licking a school banister. Oh you know that. Oh my god. So how long did you um, how long did you snug the pole for? But for the duration of the song. Was that your only move? That was my only thing. Right. I didn't know what to do. It was just horrific. And then the guy, the owner of the club, sat me down and he it. said, "Unfortunately, I just don't think this is for you." Did you ask okay. for any more detailed feedback? <laughs> <laughs> what are you like when people play damage now? <laughs> I can't listen to that song. Really? Never, ever, ever. No. See, that's. I'd rather have no personality <laughs> than have stories like that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean?